was up to the mountains in front of us and here on our right hand side so this was all where we are driving now was the bottom of the ocean so the soil here is a bit different from the rest of the country uh, especially where uh, the land didn't lift very much but uh, the soil here has uh, a mixture of other things in it uh, whereas uh, in the highlands or uh, high above ground or uh, higher above sea level uh, the uh, soil is mostly uh, lava, some kind of lava. That is to begin with, of course. the glacier here coming up on our right hand side that this is what you should have seen from the boat yeah you didn't believe me yeah you didn't believe me no but I know And because the sun is shining, we actually have to stop at the Diamond Beach. It even who still are big. Okay, regarding the Black Pebble Beach, there are a few things that you need to know about the black sand in Iceland. It's different from what you're used to. Uh, we ask you not to go too close to the uh uh the goal you were on yesterday and before the bridge we will turn to our left and drive down towards the beach and uh, we'll stop there about uh, for about 15 or 20 minutes
Now you see the glacier actually here on our right hand side, but they have less icebergs today than they did yesterday. Do you notice that? So there's a seal on the left in the water. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the uh, yeah, the seals actually follow fish into the uh, lagoon, then they soon find out that it's a bit too cold. Uh, those of you who like uh, fantasy, almost, yeah, fantasy uh, uh, movies or uh, shows. On Netflix. Glaciers or uh, the glacier's tongue. They have uh, two kinds of names, a glacier tongue or a crawling glacier. That was lunch yesterday. And we could not see that glacier. obvious pattern there where two glaciers have joined into one. Giving the dark streak which is powdered rock that was along the edge of the two glaciers before they joined. Most likely Actually, I see a rock right there that could be the contributing to it. It may be that the glader has just been split.
the bridge needed. Then the uh, river decided to go another way and they had to put up a new bridge, but it's being left there because if there's another flood, the bridge here on our left will be able to handle at least some of it. But uh, this can happen uh, when we have these uh, glacial floods, that is when the ice cap lifts and lets out water that's been uh, gathering underneath the glacier. Uh, we need to remember always, that is, Icelanders, that there is a volcano inside the glacier. And even though it's not erupting, it is melting uh, the ice cap from underneath. Uh, they are monitoring uh, earthquakes and every uh, unusual movements in the ground and in the glaciers. So uh, no one here that lives here is actually holding their breath, waiting for something to happen. We will know beforehand if there's going to be an eruption or if there's going to be an, uh, well, we can't tell you if there's going to be an earthquake, but we can see if uh, there is movement in places uh, that are bit, or too big or unusually big, then we know that. It's a beautiful river, but, peop but people st uh, tend to stop here in the middle of the road. Yeah, take pictures. It's a fishing river. I wouldn't want to stay here fishing and uh, people always bothering uh, uh, the fishermen. But the river itself is quite beautiful. And, uh, and as you can see, it's not a glacial river. It's uh, Spring River. I think it's uh, one of the most beautiful uh, settings. And I can tell you a story about this farm. That is, uh, when I was quite young, I had a friend, or I still have, uh, who is just a few years, no, a few days younger than I am. And uh, whereas all the So I sold, uh, she sold me her grandmother for the dog, and I'm still teased about it. Hey, come on, it's been a few years, but I'm still teased about it. I, I bought myself a grandmother, and, and she agreed upon it.